Glory be to God, saints. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to go through a Hank Kuhneman prophetic word that was released a little bit earlier in this month. Now, today is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. The prophetic word we are going to read is from August 4th. Let me make sure that was a Sunday. Yes, August 4th, 2024. And this was at the second service that Hank Kuhneman had at his church, Lord of Hosts Church in Omaha, Nebraska. Hank Kuhneman's information is down below. Ministry information, at least one link from there. Please go on to connect with his ministry. And many of you already do follow him, but some of you may be new and you don't know. Highly recommend uh, this wonderful, loving pastor, prophet, full of the spirit, full of boldness and conviction and love for Jesus. So that's what we're going to get into today. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. For those of you who are new to the channel, feel free to say hello. I welcome you. I'd love to greet you personally. Go ahead and like the video if you wouldn't mind just to get things moving. The algorithm is uh, what needs to be affected in a positive way to get the video out a little bit more. All right. I'm going to continue bringing you videos like this. Yesterday I didn't because the, the week has been so crazy busy for me. I just really couldn't find it in me <laughs> yesterday to do a video, but today is different. All right. I'm also going to put out more shorts. And of course, there's a second channel, which is praying in tongues. And that link is going to be in the description. It is youtube.com forward slash at watch and pray 24 seven. All right. Make sure you click the link to get to the correct channel. So we're getting closer to 900 subscribers. So I do need your help. Go ahead and hit subscribe on that new channel and take advantage of the fact of that, that there's a lot of intensity going on and we all need it. In fact, this past week, I'm going to tell on myself here a little bit. This past week, I was dealing with frustration because of so many things from all different sides that were going on. All right. I'll tell you a little bit more of that in a couple days once there are certain things are resolved. I don't talk about it in the midst of the warfare. That's just how I feel led. But I did do a video of praying in tongues for 15 minutes against uh, or rather when you feel frustrated. And I got to tell you, if you go and listen to that video, you'll be able to tell I was literally frustrated, but I was praying through it. And as I was praying through that frustration and the groaning and the moaning, in the deep tongues, the Lord was showing me that people will connect with that because I myself was going through it myself. And I'll tell you, at the end of those 15 minutes, I felt a release and a relief on me. I felt much better after that. So I know that's going to be a blessing for many, many years to come for many, many of you. All right. Take advantage of those videos. Let's go ahead and get started by praying. Lord God, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, thank you. We always, always come before you with thanksgiving because, Lord, we are a grateful people. We, your remnant, Lord, oh, Lord, we, we don't make a habit of complaining. Sometimes it may slip here and there, even this week, Lord, for myself. But, oh, God, you assured me and you, you would speak to me, just like you're speaking to your people, that you are here. You are with us. You will not leave us. You will help us get through it. You will give us the strength. You will give us the grace that we need. Oh, thank you, Lord. There is none more faithful than you. Oh, we give you all the glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, man, I was feeling, oof, I was feeling the presence right there. All right, saints, let's get into the prophetic word. Again, dated. August 4th, 2024. The Spirit of the Lord came upon Hank Kuhneman, and he said, You have seen, says the Spirit of God, what evil looks like. You have watched the manifestation of the demonic that has touched your culture, your children, your politics, and even those within my church. But do you hear the sound that is going out at this time across the earth? It is the sound that you hear now. It is the sound when the enemy comes in like a flood. The Spirit of God arises and he raises up the sound. He raises a standard. 
The sound that you are hearing with your ears is my standard that is coming forth at this time. It's part of my release, the resetting of the earth, removals of kings and setting up of others. The unraveling of satanic agendas and those who have cooperated at this time. It is the sound of my justice. It is the sound of my righteousness, my standard. And if you would see, if you would see the future and what I have promised to you, the standard that I speak of shall last, affecting this generation. For this standard shall be seen in your schools, universities, where a standard shall be declared. We want wholesome things for our children. We want books that educate and not indoctrinate. We want the Bible. We want prayer. And God says, it will be granted to them as I have promised. And this shall be a manifestation of my standard. Ooh, saints, let's pause there. I'm going to give you a couple of phrases. I just want you to choose one or two, or if you would like all of them, go ahead and put them in a comment. All right, go ahead and type some of these. We want wholesome things for our children. We want the Bible in schools. We want prayer back in school. We want books that educate and not that indoctrinate. Hmm. Hallelujah. The Lord's reminding me, friendly reminder, at least here in Virginia, <laughs> in the county that we are in, schools start on Monday. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we are Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So in three days, schools begin. Saints, there's a lot of warfare, a lot of warfare. The enemy is after the children. So please be praying, praying for the children. All right. Uh, the Lord is reminding me. That's one of the videos I'm going to do for this weekend. Interceding for the children in schools. All right. They are returning to schools, but I'm going to make it in schools. That way, whenever someone listens to it, even uh, even while they're uh, any month or week or year, it'll apply. All right. So uh, make sure you, you will participate in that. And then last week's video, one of those was for the teachers. Please do pray for the teachers. All right. I used to be a teacher. My mom retired this past summer from teaching. I think it was 27, 28 years. And my wife um, is a high school teacher. All right, so look at that. We have three teachers already in the family. Praise the Lord. Okay, so let me, let me, let's continue with the word. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You have looked, God says, you have looked to the media and they have lied to you. Yet I will shake them. And those in their pride who thought that they could make a mockery out of me and my people. I shall not be mocked, says the Lord. We'll put that in the comment saints. God shall not be mocked. For you will say from your mouth, where is this network? Where have they gone? What has become of them? Whoa. And God says, because I have raised up a standard and there shall be a standard that shall come in your media that will shock you and great change will come even upon the movie screens. A standard shall be raised. Well, they will say, this is what we will do as Hollywood will be shaken as something else will come. And I say even greater because it will represent a standard that shall be seen in the area of entertainment. And you will see a standard that will be risen and raised up, that many laws that you thought were permanent, as Yeshua turned over the tables and ran out the money changers. God says, a standard shall be raised even up in this nation, that laws that exist today will be no more, will be overturned. And there will be a standard of morality that you will begin to see. 
that will come through the courts and judicial system of this country. And the standard will touch your Congress, your House. The House of Representatives is what the Lord is speaking of there. Yes, as I seek to shake them, but I need you to fast. Because they are counting on holding the House of Cards. Let it be shaken, for this kind shall be greatly affected by fasting and prayer. And I will raise up a standard. Yes, they will mock you. They tried to say to you that your forefathers did not pray or read the holy word and that they were just deist. God says they do not understand the history that they seek to rewrite, but they have forgotten that I am a part of the history of your past and I shall be of your present and your future. And the standard shall be raised up, that there shall be prayer, and there will be the reading of my word in the gathering of the house and of the senate. Wow, praise the Lord. And there shall be a standard that will be raised up upon the Supreme Court, but there shall whew, there shall yet another shaking, there shall be yet another shaking that shall remove two and three. And this shall be a supreme thing because of the ties and because of the things that have been connected. They have not been the standard that I say in my time of justice. And I will raise up a standard that will greatly affect the political of the executive branch. And this branch is not just reaching out to you with this standard, America. But it shall set a standard throughout the earth that for a short season shall bring a strange peace. So it will be a calm in the earth. Is it possible? God says, you have seen evil. What does a nation look like filled with glory? This glory shall bring my standard as men's hearts will suddenly change and communities will be shaken by my power. In businesses, some who perpetrated evil shall suddenly close. Praise the Lord. Others who, others will open their doors and say, God is among us. And they will use it for a place of worship. Do not think that evil is prevailing. For there is a pushback that is bringing a putback. This is my standard. Oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my Lord. How many times, saints, did the Lord speak the word standard? Whew, he is obviously making a strong point. Mm. Wow. Hey, did you notice the light back here? It was on like some rainbow. Uh, it, was, it was all rainbow and then all of a sudden it went to just red. Interesting, huh? Interesting. Praise the Lord. Red for the anointing. Red for the blood of Jesus. Red for the prophetic. <laughs> wow, saints. This is the word that the Lord gave and spoke through Hank Kuneman. So make sure you check out his ministry down below. And so as the Holy Spirit leads you. I hope you enjoyed this. We're just going to leave it at that. Go ahead and like the video. I would appreciate it. And don't forget, friendly reminder, check out my second and new YouTube channel because we want to continue the momentum because this world needs prayer. And those of us who know how to pray in the spirit should make it a habit. Okay, uh, Lord, I, I'm bearing witness against myself. I am telling myself I need to pray more in tongues. All right. Now, you know, you all know I love it. Um, but I myself got to ramp it up some more. All right. So I want you to join me. And uh, of course, there's other things, ideas the Lord is bringing to me in time. As you all know, very, very busy. Work was extremely busy for me. And so I'm handling, kind of doing everything. Look at that green. 
I don't know why, but when I think of green, and it just changed by itself, when I think of green, I think of the, the um, I think of wisdom for some reason. <laughs> green for for increase. How about that? Increase and in, in finances and prosperity because God wants us to prosper even as our soul prospers. So what matters first is that the Lord gets us to yield to Him so that our mind, emotions, and will may be renewed that we may prosper. Having good thoughts, having good emotions in alignment with Him and His frequencies, and that we are carrying out His will, that we are willing to do the right thing. As our soul prospers, He wants us to prosper in all areas, in health, in wealth, in family, in personal relationships, social interactions, and a bunch of other areas. He wants businesses. If you have businesses, He wants you to prosper. All right? Now, this you have to accept if you believe God is a good God. And of course, God is a good God. But the thing is, you have to choose to believe it because you cannot connect with that truth and the power of that truth and the favor and the blessing that comes with acknowledging that truth deep inside you. You can't connect with it if you choose to believe something that's not true, such as God wants you poor. All right? No. God doesn't want you struggling. He doesn't want you poor. It's not a virtue. Too bad for whatever church or religion that says it is. That's demonic. That's satanic. That's of the devil. I will have no part of that. All right? So anyway, that's it for now. Uh, there will be more information to come, as I mentioned before to you, about a very cool thing the Lord has shown me in terms of like how to save and whatnot. And uh, I'll be sharing more of that. I've actually already begun to see the fruit of it. Just in, you know, getting my gas, getting groceries. I had to get, get some things online and, and in combination of things. I've already um, made more cash back than I normally would have just with, you know, a cash back uh, credit card or something. So it just kind of stacked up. And hey, it's exciting to see that that if you're open, God will give you creative ways to be able to. Um, oh, thank you, Lord, to save more and to to you know find discounts and whatnot and even to be able to set things apart so you can you can grow and you can maybe even create a little bit of revenue because it is God's will and he needs people who are not controlled by money he needs people who are not controlled by money to bless to bless them so that through them he can bless the world maybe this is why certain people are offended by money now, I used to be one of those where I was like, why does this person have money and this preacher not realizing until I was more mature that <clears throat> their obedience led to the favor of God. All right, I'm going to leave it there. But uh, yeah, stay tuned because very, very soon I will be sharing uh, that for those who are interested. And, and that's it. For those who are not, praise the Lord. Just keep on watching the videos. I'm the same person. If anything, I'm just growing more and more in the Lord. All right. So blessings to you all. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.